Hello, everyone, and welcome to the inaugural Accessibility, Engineering, and STEM dinner. Thank you all for being here and showing your support. For those who are not met yet, my name is Priya Jain, and I am a senior majoring in web design and engineering, and I'm also in the BSMS program for engineering management and leadership. Uh, once again, thank you all for being here and showing your support. This dinner is made possible through the School of Engineering, Colleges of Arts and Sciences, Office of Multicultural Learning, Rainbow Resource Center, Inclusive Excellence Division, LEAD, Sioka Center, the Ideas Coalition, as well as the Office for Accessible Education for guiding you the whole way through. I'm just here to show you that you are not alone, and there are people like you going through the same experiences um, and struggles. So we're here tonight to celebrate you. Um, just take a moment to reflect on how far you've made it and try to take pride in that fact. Without further ado, please welcome our student speakers. First, we have Anika Sethi from Theta Tau. Hello, can you guys hear me? Okay, perfect. Hi, everyone. Um, I want to start off by thanking everyone for coming out tonight and showing your support and love. Um, Santa Clara is not only a college for me, it's a home, and I am super proud to be part of the Rockland community. It is especially an honor to be in the presence of such a diverse and vibrant community, united by the shared belief that everyone deserves equal opportunities and access. I serve as the Vice President of Theta Tau, which is a professional engineering fraternity here on campus. Our goal here at Theta Tau is to foster a community that recognizes and embraces the unique strengths and talents that each individual brings to the table. We believe that inclusivity is not just a buzzword. It is a commitment to building a world where everyone, regardless of their abilities, is a, feels welcomed, valued, and respected. It is about overcoming obstacles and ensuring that every person has a chance to thrive in all aspects of life, whether it be education, employment, or social activities. As we enjoy this meal together, let us reflect on the steps we can take to make our communities more accessible. I want to highlight a specific subtopic of inclusivity that does not get discussed often, one that extends to digital spaces, ensuring that technology is designed to be inclusive for all. As a fraternity, Theta Ta is also boosting an initiative to make sure our technological resources are more accessible, specifically focusing on altering our website to make it more accessible to scroll through, see, and interact with. Keeping inclusivity in mind, we as the next generation of engineers must work towards creating products and fostering environments where people with disabilities can navigate effortlessly, communicate effectively, and contribute meaningfully. Thank you. Thank you, Anika. Up next, we have Sarah Anjum from Ingenio. valuing the abilities and celebrating the accomplishments of our STEM community. I am Sadanjo, a third year PhD student at the Computer Science and Engineering Department and the Vice President of the Engineering PhD Club at the School of Engineering. Having been born and raised in India and coming from a family whose interests are predominantly in STEM, when I moved here, I missed that community and the feeling of belongingness. I believe that the qualities required for a successful STEM career, such as resilience, belong, uh, creativity, and persistence, to name a few, are better nurtured when together. This idea actually helped me in becoming one of the founder members of the PhD Engineering Club. We founded this club with a vision to create a mindful and safe space to share and overcome the challenges the PhD students face in our STEM journey. We have successfully completed a year and have been able to grow our community for enhanced learning and skill development. 
Finally, I would like to thank the Diversity and Student Inclusion Center for giving me the opportunity to share my experiences with you all and for this amazing Great Meet and Eat event where we will reinstate that the struggles of today will all be worth it tomorrow, inshallah. Thank you. Thank you, Sarah. Up next, we have two students from the Student Advisory Board of CLF Center, Jody Choi and Uba Shirin Fourth year computer science major and one of the co chairs for the Sioka Center Student Advisory Board. Hi, everyone. I'm Abubasher. I'm a fourth year co major and also the other co chair for the Student Advisory Board. So, the full name of our program is Sioka Center for Innovation and Entrepreneurship. We seek to instill an entrepreneurial mindset at the SU campus. We host programs such as Innovation Fellows, Mindset Scholar, Venture Virtuoso, Beach. Bronco Venture Accelerator and Business Finish Competition. Approximately 1.3 billion people, or minus six, have a significant disability according to the World Health Organization. Accessibility strength currently is something that we have to find a way to include and develop after the fact. But we believe that centering accessibility drives innovation for everyone. Centering accessibility ties to all of our facets empathy, seeing challenges as opportunities, tolerating risk and creating long-term value creation. Over the summer, I interned on the accessibility team at Workday, where we focus on driving innovation, or sorry, where we focus on um, centering accessibility to drive innovation for everyone. Here we practice the shift lab accessibility testing approach, where we test web, app, web applications early in the design and development process, rather than later or after the product release. This helps save time, money, allows for feature, new feature development, and um, sorry, up and results in a more accessible end product. You will be designing for accessibility in your work in STEM and engineering, and need to take this into consideration. Come explore this and other aspects of, aspects of innovation and entrepreneurship at the CFA Center. When we innovate for accessibility, we innovate for everyone. Up next, from the Office of Multicultural Learning and the Research Center, we have Chris Harris. Uh, welcome, everybody, to uh, this delicious meal and these really cool hats that you all have. My name is Chris Harris. I currently serve as the director for the Office of Multicultural Learning, which includes the Randall Resource Center, and also the director for Campus Climate and Belonging. And uh, James Merrick and I were just talking a few seconds ago, and, and, and I think sometimes when we talk about issues of diversity or multiculturalism, a lot of people immediately gravitate towards issues of race, religion, sexual orientation, and gender expression. Um, but, but conversations around accessibility and inclusivity are absolutely pinnacle. Very important for us to continue having this to make sure that everyone has what they need in order to be firm, to be loved, to be cared for, to be successful. Uh, so enjoy the evening, enjoy the meal. If you have any other thoughts or questions or ways that the Office for Multicultural Learning can support you and the Rainbow Resource Center can support you, uh, stop by our house, check out our newsletters, the Multicultural Agenda and the Gay Agenda, uh, and let us know what you need in order to feel uh, to be your best at time. Thank you very much. Thank you, Chris. And Chris, and from the Office of Successful Education, we have James Merrick. Good evening, my name is James Merrick. I am the director of the Office of Accessible Education. To start, I would like to thank Wikipedia for organizing this event to celebrate inclusion and accessibility in engineering. I'm excited to be in this room with all of you. For me, this is a room full of ideas. I love ideas. I love the idea of ideas. It is a thinking of the possible, and when you are feeling quite daring, the impossible. Ideas guide us to new moments, be it a conversation, be it a research proposal, 
be it a theory that proves true or flops, ideas take us to places we once were not. This is the journey of science. Science can open doors. Science can push our community to experience the world in ways once never fathomable. One thing I understand about science is, the more ideas, the better. The more ideas, the closer we come to better understandings and new perspectives. Those ideas need to come from everywhere. This includes people of all backgrounds and experiences. This includes those with disabilities. When we include ideas from the disabled community, we are more capable of understanding the world from all angles. With an all-encompassing understanding, every idea will be its best. This is my charge. Bring your ideas to the forefront. Share your ideas. Raise them up to your professors and peers. Push science in our world forward. Even with the, the, even with the ideas that flop. Especially with the ideas that flop. It is my experience that breakthroughs usually come right after the moment of perceived failure. I thank you for coming to this event. I thank you for sharing in our community. And I thank you ahead of time for your world-changing ideas. And thank you all for sharing such encouraging words. Um, in about four minutes, dinner will be ready, and um, we'll be for everyone to enjoy. But um, we wanted to quickly thank all of our speakers for making time to their busy schedules, join us. Thank you all for sharing their perspectives, stories, and helping us talk about um, and celebrate the disabled community here at SCU and helping us move our SCU community forward in a positive direction with vision and goals. We hope that you walk out of this dinner knowing that you are not alone in your journey and to take pride in who you are. Thank you all for coming. Please form a line to be served. Enjoy dinner and please fill out the feedback survey. Keep our friends let us know how we can make this dinner better next year. Thank you.